Okay, just got here to Magnolia on a Tuesday morning. Just me, and I'm checking the battery charger. I want to see how that did. All right, well, battery charger didn't look like it had finished charging. Uh, it was still blinking red, which is not a good sign. Uh, according to the, the manual, that means that the battery is less than 75% charged, but it still should be taking a charge. Uh, so we're going to try to start it. Back. Let's see what happens. Well, we have power. It, it turned over once. All right. But at least we've got, we've got lights on the machine, on the dashboard. On the machine. We have lights on the dashboard. But the starter, it, it round once, but then just started clicking. So, no sense trying that. I'm going to put the charger back on to the lower battery, uh, a different battery, and see if that works. Let's know. Now, these torque bits. Right along this, this row here, there are torque bits all the way along that I think are the first things that need to come out before we can to get this out. There are also rivets down here which will be drilled out, but these torque bits, or these torque screws rather, seem to come out pretty easily So with this bit. So I'm going to uh, put this in the drill and it should be easier, easier than pie. So we've got the top rail off, all the way along the uh, edge of the bus. Now, <sighs> aluminum. Let's see. It's under here. particle board. That's particle board. There's steel along here or aluminum probably. Let's find out. Oh, that's steel. That, uh, and down here, this is riveted to so I think I'm going to have to take out these rivets before I can take this out. Let's do that, shall we? these rivets out down here but this has also got a lip on it here which is riveted here small rivets to the, the framing members <laughs> so I gotta take out the uh, the panels first before I can get to them but I don't think that'll be a problem because they come out very easily They're just it's just uh, press board, so it's super easy. Cover press board covered in carpet, and then there's a styrofoam underneath it, insulation. So, should be a very simple process, just tedious and time consuming. All right, back to it.
Welcome to the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> it's been raining all day. And I am soaked. <laughs> I'm not soaked. I'm just dirty. And I've got a black eye. I got a black eye. Or I'm getting one. I don't know if I have one yet, but. It's starting. All right, so last week, oh, ah, <laughs> Tuesday, I came down to the bus. Today is Saturday, by the way. I came down to the bus and uh, we're having some trouble with our starter batteries that aren't holding a charge or something draining them and we're not sure what this might be have something to do with it but at any rate we can't start it and I want to start it so let's try it I've just checked I've just checked the charger the charger said the same thing on the one the lower battery as it did the last time when I checked it and I had it on the upper battery after a few days. Basically linking in a code that says that the battery it's connected to is still less than 75% charge. Which Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and today's Saturday morning, that, that should be more than that. But so we're probably drained. But let's try and start the engine. I've got lights. Engine. Let's get a shot. You ready? Yeah. yeah. No dice. No dice. Okay. Well, I think the only option now is to try and disconnect the battery from the bus completely, like pull the cables right off. Because uh, something is some some something is leaching the power. Um, it might also be the fact that it's a 12 volt charger on a 24 volt system. Is that true? I think it is. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, we'll just keep going. I think everything is good except the batteries. That's the only problem. And we'll get that resolved soon. Right now, we've got some destruction to do. <laughs> right, baby. I'm ready to break some stuff. All right. <laughs> okay so i want to show y'all what we're gonna be working on today it's pouring down rain so we're both in our rain clothes and we're just gonna mo mostly be working indoors today i got my got my headlamp on because it's kind of dark in here it doesn't look dark because there's this uh lamp that we put up here but anyway last time I'll show you what patrick got done he got this entire wall taken down. So what it looked like before was this purple wall all the way down the bus. And he was able to take it down and take out all of the styrofoam insulation that was underneath that looked like that. So now we're gonna start by uh, taking this other wall down today and any other things we might demo or break who knows but we're gonna try to have a good time breaking some stuff that we're getting there you excited to break some stuff baby i am all right let's do some drilling i love you i love you came down here on Tuesday I drilled out all of these rivets here and it turned out that there was a lip which you can better see here this lip here which was welded or correction riveted to the framing members as you can see the rivet holes here so this morning right there this morning I came along and I I couldn't I tried to drill these rivets out, but the heads, they just kept spinning. So I took the grinder and I just cut them off. And it was easy, easy as pie. It took two seconds. Well, that's exaggerating, but it took, it was no, it took no time at all. But then, uh, this front one came off very easily. 
But there were some things down here. There were these things. Can I get a light here very quick? These things, which I'm not entirely sure what they're for, but they're only they're only screwed in once, so I think they were for some sort of hingy thingy. Not sure. But anyway, they had to come out and they were holding this lip in down here in the back end of the bus. So another grinder here and uh, get them off and then I had to grind down what was left of the bolt uh, and then uh, some crowbar and some see here's the bolt right here then a crowbar and a little bit of a little bit of effort <laughs> and there, there they are right there and all that's left is this thing oh there's a, some still some rivets to drill out here but so far so good Jamie's been working on the other side. She's unscrewing the, uh, the, the torx nut, the torx screws that hold on that rubber gasket at the top. After that. I'm working on this area. Yeah. And then we'll pull this off, this big long thing off. And then the purple wall, right? And then the purple wall comes off. trying to get this this little lip thing here which is had we had been told was structural to the bus is not I knew that pretty much right away but it had all sorts of things screwing it in I had rivets here and a lip that was on top of it and it was also held in by that orange that that purple thing and then I think up here but anyway down here there were screws uh, torque spits torque screws holding it into the plywood that some of them were easy to get out, some of them were not. Some of them had glue on them. Yeah, so I just went at it with the drill. And now, <laughs> at least for this section. Woohoo! Oh my god! I just gotta pull it loose from this end. That gives us like an extra four or five square inches. <laughs> Let me. So there's all this. Just empty emptiness under there. It was like a vent. I mean, what was this for? Do you think it was a vent? Maybe. There's nothing underneath it. Yeah. I thought I thought it was for like the remember that the air conditioning thing, but this maybe back there there's something because Yeah. This one is empty. Because there's a that's just plastic there. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, we'll pull it out and we'll see. Anyway, let's get this out of here. Okay. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> and there it is. Oh, there is a vent down there. That's a heater vent. Okay. Because that comes from underneath here. Yeah. Underneath here is the heater. One of the heaters. There's one on the, there's one on the other side and there's a yep. couple there's a couple more In down the there. And this is just a vent. And we're not going to be using that, or we could use it for something if we wanted, but we don't have to. No, we're going to, we're going to, with the heater, no, that's, that's, that's going to the garbage. Okay. And this is just space that's, yeah. We'll that just, hole, we're going to, we can, we can cover that. We'll cover that right up. Excellent. So that's what this is. This is just, this is to radiate the heat from there. And, oh, cool. and spread it out along here. So this, yeah, all okay. right. Do you want me to help you take it out? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's huge. Look at how much floor space that gives us. So, yeah, this is this looks like it's it is welded on. That's okay. Frame. You're right about that. We can just make that part of the wall. Well, we're gonna insulate the wall anyway, and it's gonna come out further than this. Like I'm yeah. thinking, like that, which is about to there, huh? Yeah. So that's gonna be inside the wall anyway, because we're gonna have. I'd like to have a little windowsill, maybe like a. Or I'll frame out the. Oh, yeah, we should frame. Oh, 
So we had a little accident. I was I was pulling out some of these chairs. Now she was working, my, my love, my, <laughs> my beautiful wife was working, uh, kneeling down working on the wall on the other side that I was walking on, but I didn't consider how far this thing stuck out. Yeah. So. I got, I don't know if you can tell. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I got bumped in the eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> so and it's gonna be interesting because I have to I'm like hosting a conference next week so I'm gonna have a black <laughs> eye on zoom <laughs> it's gonna be awesome all right let's... anyway I'm fine it just looks you know it looks like I went and got into a bar fight I'm so sorry baby I love you I love you <laughs> you feel we did a good job today baby we did such a good job we demoed this whole wall have we looked at this wall let me take a look Okay. So when we came in this morning, this wall still had purple carpet on it. So we demoed that and we took all the styrofoam insulation out. And then we cleaned up all of our, <laughs> this is mostly insulation from both sides. And then Patrick took out, um, you see this lip right here that goes all the way down. He took it out on the front and we'll we'll finish taking that out on both sides so this still has the lip um we learned that it's basically just uh like a like a heater uh, a conduit vent thing i don't know what the right word is but um yeah so there's no reason to keep it and it's going to give us a little extra room to install furniture and stuff so yeah, we got a lot done today. I'm feeling good. I don't know how I'm looking. <laughs> oh yeah, I got got a nice little egg coming up on my face. But yeah, we got a lot done today and Patrick's gonna come back out on Tuesday and um, do some more on his own while I'm at work. It feels good to start to see this as a shell. You know, you can... Uh, really start to tell what we're working with now um, and it's just going to get better once all these wires aren't hanging everywhere and yeah it's going to feel really good to be able to start playing the design so i'm excited I don't need to compensate for anything. You're so silly. <laughs> Down here, there's my wife's butt. Down hi. here, say hi, Jamie. Hi. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording.